Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to create this really cool jittery kind of effect and add it to your After Effects files. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a new composition and I'm just going to run with a standard 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel document and I'm going to have that ready to go. Now the first thing that I did is I created a new solid and on this solid, it doesn't matter what color you use because we are going to use um, the gradient ramp as our first effect. So if you can find your gradient ramp um, effect, drag it to your uh, solid and now you can start to change the colors. Now as always, I went to color hunt to get the colors and in this case, I'm going for a pink and cool and then you can set the start of the ramp and also the end of the ramp however you like so now I've got a nice gradient background I can actually start to put some things in there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some text so I'm going to click on the T tool and then I'm going to click anywhere on the screen and I'm going to write text and I'm just going to make sure that it's a bit thicker so that I can actually see it cool so now that I have some text on my screen, we're going to add the kind of jittery effect to it. So to create this effect, what you need to do is you need to go to new and we are going to create an adjustment layer that's going to go on top of your, all your other layers. And once you go in there, then you can go into effects and presets and you can search for turbulent displace and you can click that and drag it to your adjustment layer. Now, see what happens when I put the turbulent displace on there and if I keep changing this the amount it really goes and really creates this really funky kind of look so we don't need it to be that high so we're just gonna drop it down to about 20 maybe even a little bit less maybe about 16 and the size we're gonna drop to about 10 also so it's just it's very subtle okay and now to actually get this effect working, what we need to do is we need to go to the evolution and we need to click on the stopwatch. We're going to press U on our keyboard to bring up our keyframes. And we're just going to create four different sets of keyframes that are spread four frames apart. So the next keyframe is going to be uh, four frames from this point here. So all you have to do is press page down four times. One, two, three, four. And so I can zoom in there so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so once you're on that fourth frame, you just need to move the evolution up. It doesn't really matter what number, you just have to make sure all the numbers are different. So I'm going to do that again. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to bring it up again. One, two, three, four. And then move it around again. And then the final one. Okay, cool. So now we've got all of these points. And so now if I play it back and if I zoom into here, you can see that it actually is moving. So I'm just going to make this uh, comp a little bit shorter. So now I'm going to loop that and you can see that it's actually wiggling and jittering and moving. And that looks pretty cool. Now, if you want to go back in and change any of these things, so for example, this one, you want to increase it, just make sure that the numbers are all different. If you want to go back and change the amount, you can, and then that gives it another look as well. So I'll keep it on 20 for now, just so it's a little bit more prominent. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that well, like your animation won't only be 16 frames, so I'm just going to make it probably around about 5 seconds. And then I'm going to trim that comp to that work area. Now what happens here is once we get over here, there's no animation on the actual adjustment layer. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we highlight all these frames and then we can go and say toggle hold keyframe. And still, it's not really uh, moving over here. So we have to add an expression. So you alt click on the evolution stopwatch and all you have to write is loop out. And so once you've done that, this loop will go for the entire clip. 
So that's pretty cool. And once you've done it once, you can save that adjustment layer and then honestly, you can just throw in anything underneath it. So here's another example with the picture that I used in the thumbnail. And you can see that all the edges of this picture are jittering as well. And then anyways, what else you can do with that? You can add some, you know, animation. So there we have a simple animation just by using scale. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this lesson. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.